Hi, I'm Finn, the Assistant Station Manager here at Fresh Air. In this video, I will be taking you through how to edit your radio show using Audacity. So if you haven't already, be sure to check out Training Video 1, How to Record Your Show. So the reason we use Audacity is because it is really, really simple to use. And although it looks like there are way too many buttons, I promise you that you really only need to use the most basic of these functions. So let's start putting our, together our show with an intro into a song. In track one here, we have recorded our link. And in track two, we have imported a song. You can listen to either track individually by clicking the solo button. If you have several tracks, you can also silence individual tracks by muting them. For now, I'm going to solo the spoken track so that I can edit it without hearing the music. By using the selection tool, found here, you can click on any part of the track and press play to hear the audio from that point onwards. It's the Klaxons with golden scans here on Fresh Air. If there is a section of audio you want to remove, simply click and highlight the selection by dragging and then use the cut function. You can zoom in and zoom out of your, on your selected point by using these two buttons here. This will give you a better picture of your waveform. You can also recover any deleted audio by going to edit and clicking undo. You can also split up pieces of audio, for example if you've recorded back to back links, by selecting the point you wish to split, going to edit, clip boundaries and clicking split. Our audio is now separated. You can also glue two pieces of audio back together again by pushing them together, going to your selection tool and then clicking the black line that separates them, and they will now be glued together. Now to add the song in. Firstly, I need to unmute the song track. You can then drag the song to the end of the spoken link using the time shift tool, shown here. Again, use the selection tool and the zoom in and zoom out functions to make sure that your audio is lined up properly. Be sure to listen back to make sure you're happy. Let's get an absolute tune on for you now. It's the Klaxons with Golden Scans here on Fresh Air. If you want to speak over the start of a piece of music, or you're using backing music and don't want it to overpower your voice, you can use the auto duck feature. To do this, move the spoken track beneath the music track by clicking and dragging as shown here. Highlight a rough section of the music track that will be playing whilst you are speaking. Go to the Effects tab and click Auto Duck and this window will pop up. This bar here will change the volume at which the music will drop to whilst you are speaking. And this bar on the right will change how quickly the music will return to its original volume after you have finished speaking. Once you are happy with your settings, click OK. And now the music should no longer overpower your voice. Let's get an absolute tune on for you now. It's the Klaxons with Golden Scans here on Fresh Air. Alternatively, if you are just using backing music for a track, you can reduce the entire volume of the track using this slider here. Once you're done editing your show, remember to save it by going to File, Export Audio, and making sure you save it as an mp3 file. And if you have any further questions, feel free to ask any of us here on the Fresh Air Members Facebook page.